Understanding the difference between a straight and a isthmus. A very simple understanding comes with this diagram. The simplest way to understand a straight versus an isthmus. So straight, simply put, is a kind of narrow water parcel that connects two major water bodies. So you have a narrow body of water that is connecting two major water bodies. So water body one and water body two being connected by a narrow uh, passage and that is what is known as straight. On the other hand, isthmus is simply a land parcel which connects land masses one and two. So these are land masses and a connection of land between the two land masses is what is isthmus. So that's a very, very simple simple understanding of the two concepts. Now, understanding how streets are formed. Now, streets could be formed by various ways. A very good example is tectonic subduction. So, because of the tectonic subduction or uh, subsidence, you would have a straight formation that would occur. Another example is when you have water level that overrises and as a result, you have two water bodies getting merged onto one another. Isthmus, on the other hand, is a parcel where you have fractures of the land. However, through straits, you would have canals that would pass. We would understand that in a while as we uh, talk about further. Before that, let's talk about Tombolo. So when we were talking about the various topographies uh, of the wave features, we understood uh, that Tombolo is one of the features where you have deposition of sand that takes place in the tidal area and the areas where you have waves closer to the ocean. Now what happens is because of the deposition, you have a land parcel which connects with the mainland. A very good example is from New Zealand. We'll be talking about that in a while. So that is what is Tombolo and Tombolo is a classic example of isthmus. Now coming on to some very good examples. Now here in the map you can see Mediterranean Sea and Mediterranean Sea separates two land parcels. You have Africa in the south and Europe in the north. Now what happens is we talk about the straits first. So when we talk about the strait, we have an important strait which separates the two water masses. What are those? Those are Mediterranean Sea and Atlantic Ocean and this is the Strait of Gibraltar. Now just just understand this, I have brought about the ocean boundaries here. Now this ocean boundary shows the strait, uh, the water bodies, the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean and the Strait of Gibraltar, which is a narrow water passage which connects the two major water passages. Now this is very very interesting. As we understand under plate tectonics, Africa is slowly and gradually moving northward. Now when Africa would move northward, what would happen? This strait, which is a narrow passage, would slowly and gradually start to close. And when it starts to close, what would happen is you would have a isthmus that would be developed. And this Mediterranean Sea would become an inland sea. There would be no connections with the Atlantic Ocean. And this Strait of Gibraltar can in future become Isthmus of Gibraltar and that's how we understand the difference. When I talk about the strait, I repeat again, it connects Mediterranean Sea with Atlantic Ocean but as soon as the land parcel because of the tectonics start to move northward as it is doing at present. So this African land parcel would move northward and this section would, would close and you would have a land parcel that would connect Africa to Europe and this would become a isthmus of Gibraltar. So you, I hope you got the difference between the strait and the isthmus very, very clearly. So this is a very, very classic example. Now this strait of Gibraltar is because of the tectonic movements as we said. There is another important strait which is lying between the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara. Now between the Sea of Marmara and Black Sea, you have a strait of Bosophorus. Now this strait of Bosophorus is a strait where you have overflowing water. Now because of the overflowing water, the land mass subsided and therefore you have connection between the two water masses. So two ways under which a strait formation to, could, can take place. One is the tectonic movement as we understood in the strait of Gibraltar. The second is the strait of Bosophorus where you have 
the water that basically overflows from the two water bodies we do not know whether it's from the sea of marmara or from the black sea but yes there is overflowing of the water and because of which you have land that has subsided and you have a water strait that connects two water bodies sea of marmara and black sea so that is about straits coming on to isthmus one good example that in future there could be strait of gibraltar generations ahead of course but that is one of the examples that we talked about the next uh, under uh, uh, the great examples would be this is a city in new zealand and this town is known as maro now close to maro you have a small township that has come up this township is known as mount mongoy and Ma mount mongoy is a kind of tombolo which connects to the mainland in the new zealand and therefore it is this tombolo becomes an example of connection through isthmus because as you can see you have a land parcel which connects it similar good example is in uh, united states you have seattle in the state of washington now here you have lake washington and you have the puget sound so this is the Puget Sound between the Lake Washington and Puget Sound you have Seattle that is there now what is the basic idea you have Harbor Island and Bellevue which are the two land parcels which are being separated here and this is a Seattle basically acts as a isthmus between the two land parcels that are there and then you also have the two important water bodies that are there so that is some of the examples on a smaller scale of course we would be covering separate sections where we have talked about straits and isthmus in detail so you can just check out our separate lectures on strait and isthmus where we have talked about the major straits and ma major isthmus of the world stay tuned for many interesting lectures from our side have a wonderful day ahead